let's have a look and show you how to trade a retracement Take them away. Oh. And a warm welcome to one and all. If this is your first time here, I'm the big fella that is the scruffy trader. What I'm trying to do is put trading in the real world. Maybe show you a trick or two along the way. And that's exactly what I'm going to do now. Because this afternoon, um, there's been quite some volatility. And it's very easy to chase the market but i don't like that i prefer to trade aftermath let the dust settle see what's going on and then you can systematically come to market and trade in a calm peaceful manner now it's just after 10 to 4 so i'm going to kind of wait till four o'clock before i go to market but the setup for it is coming now so let me show you and then I'll kind of stop and come back when I'm ready to go. Now there's a couple of markets we can look at. There's Euro dollar and the pound. Let me just get rid of all of my marks off the screen. And what we can see is a similar situation on both. Okay, We've had an explosive move this afternoon, you know, for the last couple of hours. Boom, boom. They're now coming into areas that can give you some decent profit if you know what you're looking for. And what we're looking for in this instance is a fib because all your indicators are out the window. Why? Because a move of that magnitude will blow them out the water. They won't help you in any form. But what can help you is a fib. And what we're looking for is the retracement from a 23 so if i pull that up to there we can see it's kind of showing its hand on the hourly and it's underneath this level so i need to see that break and then after here i'll see where this is closed if it's closed sort of in this area i'll monitor it and i'll trade into it if it doesn't i'll leave it be so i'm going to watch that one and I'm also going to be watching this one. Now I don't need any of the other markets on here because I'm not watching any of them. I'm only going to watch these two. And if I just split the screen so that we can see them at the same time. Let's move that into the middle. Just like so. And then what we're going to do is we're going to look to see which one is the best. Double bubble, as they call it. If you haven't seen the gentleman film where you say double bubble, it's excellent. Right, so there's that one. So we'll make this one a bit bigger as well. Now this one, again, similar story. Up, okay. So we're going to take the fib from down here. And this one's had an explosive move for three hours. So what we're now looking at is these two points. Okay. Very, very simple. I won't enter these until this candle is closed. And it's probably, well, we'll see what happens over the course of the next five minutes. Um, but if it isn't closed in or around this area, I ain't entering it in this hour so this one has to be underneath that yellow so i need the price down here somewhere and this one has to be underneath this black how now the next criteria is if it bursts the top i have to wait as well so with this trade patience is key so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to switch the camera off because i'm not going to do anything i'm literally waiting but we'll wait for the close of the candle. Then I'll come back to you. I'll talk you through the trade. And we'll see if we can make some money out. 
Okay, guys. Um, looks like we've got this one in play. So we're going to open that up, which is here. Make this a bit nicer. And we're going to use the edge of this candle down on it. Drop it into a, a lower time frame so you can see it. There we are. Now I'm going to put an order in and I'm going to let the order come to me and then stage backwards if I need to. Okay, so let me set this up. Very, very simple. Look, so drop in kind of a five or a point. I want to be at the base of there into that. So that's my order in. Happy days. Okay. Now what it has to happen, the price has to come down and pick up that order in order to trigger. Now, what I can do, because I've got a definitive top here, is I can follow the price up to this area, get a better price. I can also, if I'm triggered, stage in up to this area, possibly up to this one, probably when well, that's where I would go. Because if it goes beyond that black one, it's game over. I'm probably wrong. So in this instance, what I'm doing is I'm waiting for the price to come to me, picks the order up, because it has to be below this key level, has to be below this fib line in order for it to breach. I'll scale up to here, this black line. And then if I'm happy with that, good up. I'll even push it up as high into here. All right. But ideally, I want it here. If it gets up here, all I want to do is get out. All right. So let me do the trade and I'll come back to you at the end. Well, boys and girls, I'm just going to let it run. Um, I'm quite pleased with how it's going. If I just quickly show you this, pull that down. Obviously, you've got the big drive up. A lot of consolidation. Choppity, choppity, chop, chop. 
um, which shows that it isn't pushing up and the way these work is in three stages dry consolidation drop and that's all we're waiting for um, simple easy trade 23 38 50 because the spreads open up in the night what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sort of just pull these onto the 38 so it'll be a nice easy trade for tonight just drop that there and hopefully when I wake up in the morning um, there'll be a lump of money to add into that lot so happy days okay catch you tomorrow okay boys and girls um it's coming on seven o'clock in the morning uh, already started work got my coffee in my little profit mug and if you want one you will find the link for the shop below because yes this video was sponsored by winky yeah that's her little shop she does does merchandise so it'd be great if you can support her and for me my job's nearly done today let me show you well there's nothing on the screen and you can see it's dipped down quite well on the hourly chart um and if i put it down on a lower it went right down so there's some good movement last night had some reasonable targets put into place and it's paid me so i don't have a great deal to do today um if I look at sort of euro dollar, it has a similar setup coming in. Big drive, except this one didn't dip down last night, which is why I kind of avoided it. I was looking for the best option. And that best option was cable. Because look, that level held that back. So I'd have to wait for this to get right up to here to come back down. And it possibly will because there is a collapse happening on the Bollinger Band as we speak. So what we see now is a bit of chit chatter and then wallop. However, on cable, oops, on cable, it did come underneath there. So these 23s, etc., become decent targets. And that's what I was aiming for. And it's left me with a position that I don't have to do a great deal today. And that's the other side of trading. It's known when not to trade. If you're being paid, why be a martyr to the screen and sort of try and have bragging rights in forums, etc. Because ah, I was there all day and I've got this wave and I got that wave and I got the other wave and look at how brilliant I am. Mm -hmm. Might be today, about tomorrow, the after, about next week. You know, might have a good week. Because if you're on a trending week, shooting fish in a barrel, piece of piss. Anybody can do that. You do it for a month. Might be on a trending month. Cable's been on a trending month. Euro's been on a trending month. Um, USJPY's been on a trending month. Easy money. But what about when it's not on a trending month? Is it easy then? So can you do it for a year? Can you do it for two years? Now that's the question. I haven't lost a year in seven. I haven't lost a month in three years. Why? Because I'm very systematic in what I do. I'm very choosy in what I do. And everything I do is a giant filter to get down to the best point. And that's what keeps my consistency up. Because I do a lot of homework before I trade. I never go to market willy-nilly. And the other thing is, if I've got a direction in place, that direction is going to be in pretty much most of the day, you know, because I'm looking for the dominant. Direction doesn't change from one way to the next um, as quickly as you think. So if you're on a five minute chart and you're trying to go that way and then that way, you're not going to last long because you might hit a couple of lucky days, might even hit a few weeks but you can't sustain it. So you need to be sticking with a single direction. And that's probably the best advice I can give you from this video. One direction, one trade, one settle. That way you're not diluting anything and you're focused all the time.
if you're trying to catch wave this way and then catch the wave going the other way well you're gambling and it's that simple and gamblers over time never win so just a thought anyway i'm done um five past seven might have an easy day today so why not so as always guys trade well keep the risk managed but above all do what you love the money will fall see you all in the next one